he wants to finish with. But I don't think we would, uh, <laughs> I can't really do, uh, I can't really come on stage dressed like this and not sing this song. So. <laughs> this is called Black Tie. I wrote this song. As a letter to my teenage self, I'm a, I, I always knew that I was gay and uh, from a very young age and when I was growing up I was extremely, I was extremely ashamed, not of being gay but of being the way that I am, right? What I am is I'm a butch lesbian, Cambridge, that's who I am. <laughs> Standing in front of you today, at the age of 36, I'm very, very, very proud to be a butch lesbian, I wouldn't be anything else. It took me a really long time to get there, you know? For years and years and years, the world made me very, very ashamed of who I am when I was growing up. I was just getting this message that this is not an adequate way to be a girl or a woman, and uh, it really took root in my bones. And then it wasn't until I was 30 that I figured out that I didn't need to be ashamed all the time. And I wrote this song as a letter to my teenage self. And it's got a line I'd love you to join in with. How do you feel about that? It's a bit sweary. <laughs> I can't really censor it because it's a, it's a rhyming couplet. <laughs> so, you know, my hands are tied. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to sing, the line is, the images that fucked you were a patriarchal structure. Someone's done the reading. So I'm going to sing the images that fucked you and you're going to reply we're a patriarchal structure, a bit like this. And the images that fucked you were a patriarchal structure. I think you didn't even land that thing. Lift the roof off. Stage one, Cambridge, what do you think, eh? Hey? That's what this song is. It's a letter to my teenage self. It's something else as well, my friends. It's a protest song, a protest song against transphobia, right? The lives, the lives of your transgender siblings, your transgender sisters, your transgender brothers, your non-binary siblings, their lives are being put in danger by this government, right? They have singled their lives out as a culture war issue for the next election. I promise you it's going to get a lot fucking worse than it is now, and they need your solidarity to be loud and proud. There is no solidarity without trans people in the community. Are you all free? What kind of is free? Is that what you're saying? Yeah.
and you'll be loved and you win like tight tonight get a postcard to my year 11 self and her year 11 hell darling everything's gonna be alright no you won't grow out of it you will find clothes that fit Just fine. Girl, you're gonna be so.